What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and in this video I'd like to talk about the current meta versus a new meta coming with the Forsaken DLC. We saw many many changes to the way weapons perform in the recent combat reveal stream by Bungie so I thought I'd take this moment to talk about how the current meta being the Graviton Lance and the Vigilance Wing will work and perform within the Forsaken meta and not many people have been speaking about this so I thought I'll take this little time to do a quick video on it. Will these weapons be just as monstrous if not even better? That we will discuss today people. But before we get into that guys, if you would like to show your support to me and the channel, hit that like button it really does help me out and I do appreciate that support. Also if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And stay tuned to the end guys to find out about my monthly controller giveaway. Okay so during the combat of your stream a few days back, we saw Bungie confirm many changes to PvP in terms of how weapons will perform. With this new weapon loadout system, being able to run three shotguns was obviously going to be a problem for the game in terms of making many other weapon archetypes pretty pointless to use because let's face it, if you can run around with three shotguns, all capable of basically one hitting you within a certain range, knowing how quick people can learn these maps, having three shotguns will actually make you invincible to an extent anyway. So to combat this, Bungie have implemented a new system in place which basically increases precision damage across the board for all weapons. So if you are using, let's say, an auto rifle and someone comes charging towards you with a shotgun in their hand, aiming for the head is going to drastically kill them way quicker than what it would before. This system also allows for hand cannons to through tap and pulse rifles, even the fastest of fire rate ones, to almost two bursts in the head, which when you think about it is pretty damn crazy. Now if we look and compare the current stat values, we actually see the percentage buff these weapons get from precision shots. When they demonstrate their 390 rounds per minute pulse rifles, weapons as such in game now is like the Autumn Wind, the G17 and a few others, we see it does exactly the same to the body but gains more precision damage by 7 per shot. So from 24 as it is in game now to 31 when the Forsaken releases, so an extra 21 damage per burst which does make a true difference if you think about it. Two bursts you get almost 45 extra damage. The 600 rounds per minute auto rifle is my personal favourite in the game now in the current meta. We see it does exactly the same to the body but to the head it will do 4 more damage per shot. When you take this into account along with the fire rate, this is actually a major change for this weapon. When you take these calculations into account, it equals out in these weapons doing between 1 6th and 1 8th extra damage, depending on fire rate and archetype. This is a big difference in a game where things are getting quicker and quicker. Bungie did make it clear for us to compete against those who will no doubt abuse free shotguns, that will be coming and it probably will be the new meta, we will have to aim for the head in order to be able to compete, making us work harder no doubt, but it's a change I do welcome. My question is though, as they didn't actually mention anything about it, and that is the impact of weapons as such as the Graviton Lance and the Vigilance Wing, what we saw of the 390 rounds per minute pulse rifle demonstrated by Bungie, and the changes in damage this weapon will possess within the Forsaken, basically takes up to the standard of the Graviton Lance and Vigilance Wing as they are in game now, meaning it within the Forsaken will kill as quick, or if not faster, than the Graviton does now. So how will the Graviton and Vigilance Wing perform within the Forsaken? Will this precision buff also apply to these weapons, which are no doubt the best in the game now? If it does, and the same rules apply in terms of precision buffs, the Graviton Lance will almost become a 2 burst. The Vigilance Wing as it stands now is basically a 2 burst unless against non resilience titans or above. Adding 1 6th to 1 8th damage buff means it will kill anything in under 2 bursts, which is absolutely crazy. A burst and a half I predict. You can miss half of the first burst and maybe even half of the second burst and still land the kill. I mean I understand when you need a system in place to counter three shotgun loadouts and this one does seem like it could work and be fun at the same time but the overall time to kill we saw when they demonstrated PvP within the Forsaken looked great, super fast and there was hardly any difference in terms of weapon balancing for what you'd expect from certain weapons, hand cannons with like crispy free taps to a certain extent, three burst pulse rifles and auto rifles which seem to be on point but this is isn't with the inclusion of the Graviton and the Vigilance, they mention nothing of this. They mention nothing about these weapons, so because nothing was mentioned about them, we can conclude that this damage buff will also be applied to these weapons. I mean it's early days and Bungie can adjust damage outputs, we know they can do individual weapons now without affecting the entire class or archetype, and I'm hoping that is what's going to be the case. I mean the way PvP is at the moment, I wouldn't say a damage nerf is needed to either of these exotics, in fact it's quite the opposite, bring everything else up to that standard, and that is the right way to go about it. 
Within the Forsaken reveal, it seemed as though that is what they showcased. Everything's been brought up to that standard and can kill just as quick as a Graviton and Vigilance Wing can now. But if these weapons are a part of that damage buff, we will be in the exact same boat we are now with these two exotics being the daddy of weapons for PvP, which is a place I don't think any of us will be happy with within the Forsaken. I truly hope the damage buff they called across the board isn't to every single weapon in the game and certain weapons are looked at in extra detail and changed to met current standards. It's something I haven't seen many people talk about so I thought I'd basically start the discussion. Let me know your thoughts on this down below in that comment section. I mean, I know there are many fans out there of these two weapons, the Gravity Lance and the Vigilance Wing. I myself am a major fan of the Vigilance Wing. I love that weapon. It's my go-to weapon in PvP when I'm getting owned. But even you guys, because I understand, PvP can't carry on being based around two weapons. A variety of weapons of equal power would surely be the more fun place to participate in. That's what I believe anyway. Let me know your opinion on this down below in that comment sure. section, guys. And on that note, I am out. But before we do that, every month people I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below making sure you are subscribed to the channel then follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.